My name is Václav Smil and I'm a professor at the University of Manitoba in Canada. It appears that we have demand rights, but if you look deeper, we haven't. The best example is American cars in terms of miles per gallon. By 1972, they were like 30 miles per gallon. So since that time, we've done remarkably well. We doubled the mileage from 13 to about 27 and a half miles per gallon. Tremendous improvement efficiency. But what happened to the car? In America, more than half of the vehicles on the road are not cars. There are SUVs, pickup trucks, or vans. Instead of weighing just one ton or 1.1 tons, average for a US car vehicle is 1.7 tons now. So as a result, there's no saving of anything really. The most important material in terms of sheer mass in our civilization is cement made into concrete. To me, this is the most stunning number in the whole book that the Chinese poured into their buildings and roads and highways as much concrete in just three years as the United States in one century. Chinese now consume more Gucci and Bulgaris and Vuittons than the rest of the world combined. As long as EU and North America is the example for China, India, Africa, then you can have another century of massive material growth. Because these things haven't even started in Africa. In Latin America, the whole Middle East. We are talking about hundreds of millions of people who still are basically at the very beginning of that global material consumption rise. What we need, I would call it the quality pursuit. Rather than promoting quantity and short lives to be discarded for a new model. Everywhere we have the chance, we should look at promoting quality and longevity. 